So I've been documenting like seven years um, <clears throat> families with uh, perpetual abuse, generational um, dark secret families, you can call them, including my own. <clears throat> As a caregiver, worked with families, friends of mine, relationship with girls who've had this. And <clears throat> the genocide and the Holocaust, um, that's a common, or slavery, like a lot of us are descendants of survivors of the genocide and the Holocaust, and that is a major aspect of it. Um, in my case, there was birth trauma, what happened when I was being born, and sure in the other cases that there's other aspects to it. Um, the, there's a scapegoat, the, the person being abused. Um, so, uh, one aspect of it is Munchausen by proxy a parent in that household abuses the, the child who may be adult um, and then has dependency on that. This codependency features um, the, um, the aspect of it is that target of abuse uh, their relationships and their career um, opportunities are sabotaged intentionally, they're isolated intentionally, maliciously, so their only source for, for a place to stay, uh, for, for love, and for financial support is the abuser. And then when there's someone on the outside who, who gets involved with the target and wants to report what's going on, wants to provide assistance, the target um, is um, brainwashed or, or, or um, the, the term for it is um, Stockholm Syndrome. So the target is manipulated to frame the, um, to provoke and to frame the person from the outside who is reporting the abuse going on in that family intentionally they use the target to frame and to provoke and to frame and to slander the person on the outside who's coming in who finds out what's going on in order to prevent the reporting of the abuse in order to perpetuate it false reports are made to Adult Protective Services, Child Protective Services, or to police, or posted online intentionally. Uh, they're slandered intentionally to in order to diminish the, the credibility of the reporter. Threats are made so that this the provoked frame to make abuse lawsuits in order to prevent the reporting of abuse of the target intentionally. So I've seen this going on my life with family, my life who don't like me reporting publicly what I've been subjected to, what's been going on in my extended family. All of us were my my grandmother was a survivor of the genocide, and that, that has aspect. That's that's like the huge. That's the cause of.
all of the abuse that's been going on my entire extended family and I've talked about it before and they've uh, they've isolated me they've like discommunicated me except <coughs> for what I'm getting which is gaslighting intentionally and then Tanya is being manipulated by her brother to make false reports about me, to slander me, to provoke me, to, to create um, false like evidence that the reports have false reports have been filed intentionally over there in Bryan, Texas, intentionally encouraged by the perpetrator there. <coughs> <coughs> and then there's also, um, in all these cases, I've seen um, the spiritual abuse, <coughs> cults being involved, uh, members, abusers, and the targets being involved in cults, religious cults, spiritual cults, you know, um, fanatical Christian churches um and so that that's that's huge aspect of it um and i've documented in my case with janet richman was involved she was involved with the squad who was in my house for a year and a half and then tanya is involved in well she for two years she was in that um religious very strict christian rehab which influenced her very very much she herself says that because of the way that she's been indoctrinated when she talks people get mad because she's been programmed to talk the way she does um and then the it's obvious her brother is making her slander me because um she doesn't want to report it what's going on over there.